Hello, I'm Jack. I'm a technician at Air Arms. Today, we're going to be greasing and oiling an S200. The first part is to remove the stock. When removing the stock, we have four different screws to undo. First of all, we have a flat-headed screw in the side of the stock here. So if we remove that screw, And also, on the bottom of the rifle, we have two 2.5 Allen key screws. Then we'll remove both of them. Just like that. Don't worry if the cups come out as well. Some of them are loose and some of them are tight. We can put them back in later. Now we're going to remove the rear stock screw. In your kit for the S200, you will find a special tool with two lugs on it to remove the rear stock screw, which goes down this back hole at an angle until it locates. And now we just undo that. Now we have released the nut. The nut should fall out in our hand. And now we can remove the action from the stock. Just like that. I will remove the stock to stop it getting damaged. The main parts on an S200 to keep greased and to keep it moving nice is the contact points when the bolt pulls the arm back on the rollers there and there and just in case there's a friction point behind there. The best way to, to grease these is to cock the rifle but hold the retaining clip back just like that. The first thing to do is to clean the gun with a clean rag and get all the excess grease and grime off. Now we are ready to renew the grease. If we cock the rifle, but holding the linkage there, we'll be able to get a better access to grease. Here at Air Arms, we use lithium gre grease by Napier. So we're trying to, to run the grease inside the channel there where the bearings run along, and also some on the spaces there and same on the lower one. Now that has been done, if we cock the rifle a few times, just to ensure the grease has gone to all the right areas. Now if we cock the rifle, by holding the bolt, fire the gun, it'll make the gun safe. Now the gun is safe, we will remove the excess grease that we've just put on. It would also be a good idea to cock the gun once more and run a little bit of grease around the bolt. Then we just work that in. Also on the S200, the barrel seal is on the end of the probe. So we like to put a little bit of oil just to lube the o-ring up. And same again, work that in. Before we put the S200 back into the stock, we're going to oil it all over. We use an aerosol mineral oil from Formula X from Napier. Give it a good even coat all over. And then we work this in with a nice clean rag. And now we are ready to refit our S200 to the stock.
the first thing to do is to realign the rear shaft with the hole in the back of the stock and place that down there. I find when I'm fitting S200 stocks, I like to start at the back and work my way forward. The split washer come out from the back. We relocate that back over the shaft. And then we fit our stock, rear stock retaining nuts. ensuring the side of the lugs cut out is facing towards us. Now we move on to the flat headed screw that removed out from the side of the stock earlier. And lastly, the two 2.5mm Allen key screws from the bottom. The short screw in the front and the long screw in the back. We do not want to over tighten these screws in case we damage the threads. Where we put our hand prints over the gun, it'd be a good idea to rub them over with our oily cloth to stop with corrosion. And that is how we grease and oil an S200 at Air Rubs. For the latest products, tips or advice, please go to air-arms.co.uk. Thank you.